this is what we're making. DVD horror ornaments. I cannot say that word. Horror. Basically everything I'm about to show you is already pre-done. Uh, but this is pretty much what you're going to need. You're going to need some scissors, obviously, to cut the paper. But the image that I'm going to use on this um, video is already pre-cut. And then you're going to need some clay, which I don't have here. Um, oven baked clay works probably best because then you can bake it with the um, eye pins. Or you can just use some um, air dry clay and then wait for it to dry. But honestly, who wants to do that? And then you're going to need some... Oh, it's, it's like stuck. You're going to need some eye pins. Um, I keep them in a bag. Uh, you can get these from Michael's. Then you're going to need Mod Podge and um, a paintbrush or whatever you want to use to put the Mod Podge on the thing. I don't know how people get their images so clear, like crystal clear. I cannot. So this is what mine looks like. Um, by the way, these are sized to fit my mini Christmas tree. You can resize yours to fit your Christmas tree. You can make them however big you want. But these are small enough to fit my mini tree that I got from the dollar store. Um, I think it's 18 inches. I'm not sure. But so basically what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to print out your images first. Which I already have my image printed. Then you're going to want to take some clay. I can, I guess I can demonstrate this, but I already have some pre-made clay, but like, um, you're going to want to roll it. However you roll it out, like, I guess you can use your hands. I have glue on my thing. I kind of just took, um, this Mod Podge bottle and like rolled it like this. Rolled it out because I don't have a roller and then stuck it in the paper and tried to size it up as much as possible. It's kind of hard for me to do. I've never worked with clay before, but basically just, you know, size it until it's the right shape. You're going to want to do this a lot better than I'm doing, but like I said, I already have my clay pre-baked already, but this is just an example. So you're going to want to fit it into your um, cutout. I was interrupted by a phone call. Um, but you're going to want to fit it into your image. It's going to look a lot better than that, hopefully. When you do it <laughs> you can paint this by the way I know like DVDs are not white I didn't paint mine because it's not really that big of a deal can't really can't really tell you're not looking at the side anyways you can paint it doesn't matter but then uh, yeah and then you're gonna want to take it out if you can get it out it's gonna be nicer than this when you do it so yeah and then you're gonna want to take your eye pin Mine's dirty because I'll show you why <laughs> in a little bit. And then you're going to want to stick it in nicer than that. And then bake it in the oven. This one says this brand. Um, I got this from Michael's. It was like a dollar or something. Craftsmart. I don't know if you guys can see this. Mine says to bake for 15 minutes, so I baked it for 15 minutes, and then it comes out like this. Mine's really dirty because I rolled it on that dirty paper, and um, yeah. Then you're going to want to take your glue, um, in my case, Mod Podge. Sorry, I got a bunch of stuff just all over the place. You probably shouldn't leave your brush with glue on it either, but I did because I'm just going to wash it anyways. By the way, when you're rolling this and sizing it, you have to make sure you have all of the excess like cut. Otherwise, it will 
obviously mold the way you molded it and then when you bake it so like try not to squish it too much when you're baking it because it you can't fix it after you bake it so you're gonna take some Mod Podge and my brush is like because I let it sit oh and then you just want to glaze it And then after that, if you want to do this nicer than I did it, um, go right ahead. But I don't really care about getting my fingers dirty when it comes to crafting, so I kind of... Oh, by the way, this is cardstock paper. Um, I would recommend using cardstock instead of regular paper. Because, um, this happened, I kind of smudged that and I smudged the side right there. You can kind of see it, that little white thing. Yeah, the paper smudged a little bit. So if you were using, um, regular printer paper, it probably would not have gone as well. But then again, I'm not really sure. I'm literally just getting glue all over the place. This is... Why am I a DIY channel all of a sudden? Don't listen to me. Okay, so now that this is all coated in Mod Podge and my fingers have gotten all over the place, I'm going to show you why the other one had, what you call it, everywhere. Maybe I can take a napkin and like clean this off a little bit. I'm going to show you how I hung this to dry. It's definitely a very uh, creative way, but I have no other idea how to do this, so I'm going to show you what I did. This is probably the worst view in history of views, but like, I have no other way I can show you guys how to do this because I'm holding it. So I put it on a um, eye pin, and then since I had my scissors here, I was like, oh, you know what? I need somewhere to let this dry. So I just kind of shoved it in there, and then like that. Let me take this out so you guys can see. It's literally just sitting there, chilling and drying. <laughs> this is what my little mini tree looks like. I have Halloween stickers still in the window. Um, and yeah, so it'll hang nicely like that on the little tree. How cute! Super cheap, super easy. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.